Hey, welcome back. So, last time we did a few sub-stories, we stopped a guy peeing in the river, we solved a man with his hoarding problems due to his wife, and now he has a functioning shop. And now we have a new job lined up for us at Hello Works. Now we got an apartment, and we're here to apply for the job, because we actually have to apply. So let's go do that. Hmm. All right, let's enter. Let's see what job awaits us. Hi, Mizuki-san. Their time is up. Okay, go ahead and clean up the room, then count today's take. Front desk. The faucet's stuck? Well, just use the same bath water for the next customer. Yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind the sink. Make it cloudy enough, we'll notice. Hello, this is Otohime Land. Oh, Nanaha-chan. Hmm. Oh, really? So you're taking the day off. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? You're missing too much work. And if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. I mean, it sounds like a serious medical issue. And if it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care, huh? Seems like your life would be easier if he just died already. But I guess that's out of your control. Oh, jeez. Are you crying? Oh, come on. I only say these things because I'm your boss. I can't be your therapist, too. But come back in as soon as you feel better, okay? Bye. I tell you, girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? Sorry. I don't think I want to be employed here. Ditto. Not a fan of anything I just heard. You out too, Kasuga? <sighs> so, you came all the way here just to insult me in my place of business? I'll have you know, Hello Work practically begged me to hire you three. They told me you'd be willing to do anything. I don't care what they told you. We've still got principles. Yeah, I'm grateful that Kanbei put in a good word, but uh, I pass. Plenty of other jobs out there. Let's go, Ichiban. Ichiban, what's the holdup? Come on, let's go. <sighs> you heard him on the phone, didn't you? Well, I've been to my share of back alley soap lands, but this guy's gotta be the worst I've ever seen. The girls don't deserve that kind of treatment. <sighs> hey, there a problem? You better not cause any trouble here. I'll call the Yakuza. We're with the Seiryu clan, you know? The Seiryu clan? You really sure you want to start something? <laughs> this is Seiryu clan territory? <clears throat> well, this just got complicated. <sighs> hey, Kasuga, we need a scram. Well, uh, hmm. well, why Come are you on. looking at me like that? I'll call them. I will. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I'll take the job. I'll start anytime you want. Boss. Huh? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Based on what I just heard, you got a lot of issues here, from plumbing to personnel. <sighs> you need a hand, and I've got 16 years of direct experience in this industry. I know what works in these places, and I can even go scout some fresh talent for you. What do you say? Y yeah, but what about those two? <laughs> go. Oh no. no more What's the sound? <sighs> Group of pests called Bleach Japan. Can't believe they're already back. Same guys as the other day. They've been just demonstrating in front of my shop for a few days in a row now. Like clockwork, it's a pain in the ass. Oh. They're specifically targeting you with these protests? Well, 
We're in the last place in the area that opens, that's opened about being a bathhouse. The others have a re, all rebranded as men's salons or bubble massagers. That makes it harder for Bleach Japan to build a case against them. So they come after us, since we're still open about being a soap land. They think if they close me down, it'll start a shockwave and clean out the rest of the area. Am I lucky or what? Listen. You know, Yakuza won't protect you? I tried complaining to the Siryu clan once. They had some lame excuse, and then they showed up after everything had quieted down. Besides, Bleach Japan ranks are filled with types who read up on anti-Yakuza laws for the fun of it. These kinds of people are tough for even the Yakuza to deal with. That's the Yakuza for ya. So if I can't go to Yakuza, and I can't go to the police, who do I turn to? Well, damn. Even my employers are qu employees are quitting to avoid being harassed. I'm at the end of my rope here. Right. So that's why you're understaffed. But basically, you're saying as long as the girls stick around, you can still run your business. That said, between Bleach Japan and the way you treat them, I wouldn't count on them sticking around either. <laughs> you don't get out. Girls who come here to work already have their backs against the wall. The girls who work here are all Japanese, but they're in the same situations as an immigrant who came here to get away from whatever it may be. Losing their job like this may as well be... Losing a job like this may as well be deportation. They got no one to go back okay. to rely on. I always figured it'd be the money that brought the girls in this place of work. Yep. Of course, a lot of people who come here get tempted to decide things because it sounds lucrative. But those are the types who think they'll strike it rich without doing any real work. As soon as things take a turn for the worse, they run for the hills. That's why I only hire women so far out and so far out on the ledge they can't afford to take another step back. Women like that work like their lives depend on it, and that's what keeps my business hey. stable. Stable my ass. You're just taking advantage of women at the lowest. You're the scum of the earth. Say what you will, but lust weighs on the soul as a he as heavy as hunger, if no more so. Except with lust, you can't just satiate it with local deli. You have to hold on, hold it until you find out an outlet. So long as women are willing to be on the menu, men are going to go place orders. That's the world we live in. Sup? Whatever. If we drive that guy off, we hire us or not. Yo. Kazuka. After everything the slime ball, slime ball just said, you want you still want to work here? I certainly don't. This guy's nothing like Hamako. The world would be better off if we let Bleach Japan take him down. No, no. It's work. And I can't afford to turn that down. I'll take your job, and I'll get it done right. You're gonna hire us or not? Fine. Prostitution is illegal in Japan, yet this establishment is flaunting it on the broad daylight. Oh, hi guys, it's us again. Hey. Working hard as ever, huh? What? You, you guys, from the other day, why are you here? Oh, as of today, we're employees. Employees? Huh. My friends, the accomplice, the accomplice, accl accomplices of criminals, the purveyors of prostitution have made themselves hmm? known. I'm sorry, criminals. If that was the case, why aren't we getting arrested? Because soap lands are dodging the laws by registering themselves as public bathhouses. My friends, this is what we call a gray zone. The dark stains on Japan. Let us turn this gray to white. We must bleach it out. Yo. And what about you? You think you're some kind of pure and clean soul yourself? Never committed a single True. crime? Of course I obey the law. That's the obligation of every righteous citizen. So you've never 
at even like taking a whiz outside, that's technically a crime, you know. No, never once, not in my <sighs> life. Seriously? What about speeding? Everyone's gone with the speed limit because they were running late. Nope, not a single time. Hey. You liar. It's illegal to go even one APM over the limit. You have have to have done that once. Afraid not. If you doubt me, then prove it. Prove I committed these crimes. Yo. Okay, how about what you're doing right now? All these people are walking a road as some kind of criminal act, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ignorant, it's funny. We have permits from Kan Kanagawa police for this demonstration. Hmm. Yeah, a permit to march on a public road. <laughs> you get now? The police have been m magnum magnanimous enough to let us let this road for our cause. But where you're standing now isn't technically the road. This is the soap land. <laughs> I just got a little overzealous. Also, it says here there's only supposed to be to be ten hey. of you. I'm no mathematician, but this looks like more than that. We just got more support than usual today. That's the nature of a protest. The number of people can fluctuate up until the day of. If you don't like it, file a police report. But I wouldn't get your hopes up about them coming out to do a head count. The difference between 10 or 15 isn't worth their time, and certainly not causing any trouble. <laughs> You're on the right track, Kazuga. In that case, I got a warning for you. The legal definition of march means you're not allowed to stop moving. If you stop and start giving speeches, that's obs obstructing traffic. You're right to use this road was predicted on you. Oh uh, yeah, predicted by uh, performing a march. So the fact that you're stopped here is pretty is a pretty clear <clears throat> violation. Even if it's if that's technically the rule, every protest stops to give speeches, and the police are fine with so that. You know what you call that? A gray zone. Yeah! <laughs> Relying on a gray zone to criticize a gray zone, man. That's irony. My friend, let's keep going. We're marching. Prostitution's gotta go. No more any Chi Joe. Watch where you're going, or you'll trip. see. First we have Ichiban Kazuga, age 42. Oh. Address is... Oh. Isn't this one Hamako run? Yes. Yeah, we're living on the second floor. You know Hamako-san? A bit. From years ago. Anyway, next is Yu Namba, age 41. Huh? Huh. Yu Namba? You mean Namba was your real name the whole time? After that whole speech you gave about homeless people using fake names? Uh, shut up. You believed it was fake, and that's what was important. You're just gullible. Who is that? I'm what? Oh, okay, okay. And the last guy is Koichi Adachi, who's... Wait, age 59? Yes. Yeah. Only had two months to get out until I hit retirement, but the kan Kanagawa police let me go a few days ago. That's rough. What? Huh? That's all? What? All? No. I mean, we're a uh, walking trio, red flags, aren't we? A bum, an ex yakuza, and a cop with a dishonorable discharge. What of it? If I was worried about stuff like that, I'd never find anyone to work for me. And besides, I just happen to have a perfect job for you three. Uh, and that is, you're not gonna make us clean the baths to kick things off. Nah. I only get that done every six months. What I'm really after is her. Her name is Na uh na 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 Nao na Nanoa She's been a top earner for five weeks uh, okay. I need to turn the auto uh, thing off while I'm trying to do this. That's the girl who called and take day off and you blew up at her, right? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Mm. She's your top earner, huh? You weren't kidding about these girls being uh uh never mind. I told you. If all you've got going for you is being cute and young, you'll never last. 
the core of a soap bland's appeal is service and love. It's emotional depth that makes a repeat customer. Okay. Emotions, uh. Guess I could see that. Men are lonely creatures when it comes down to it. Even guys who put up the toughest front, uh, fronts need a place to be who they really are. At the depth of a woman's ability to give him that is usually proportional to her own baggage. Now Noah's father is of an age where he can't even move his own. Can't even move on his own anymore. So she quit her job at a big firm and fell into this world to afford him the best care of best of care. Wow. Skipping all the stuff between a white collar job and prostitution is a pretty brave leap. Yep. That's why she's so good at it. She gives it everything she has, no matter who the customer is, all for the sake of her father. But that being said, she's recently started finding reasons to take days off. Hmm. This never used to be the case, though. Between Bleach Japan and Nao Nanoa taking days off, sales are really slumping. So that's why I need a hand. What? A hand? Like, on the customers? Uh, listen. Nah. No, you idiot. I want you to look into why she's taking time off. Didn't she say herself it was because of her irregular period? I can't take that face value knowing her. There are a lot of reasons why someone would, who needs money starts taking a lot of time off. Think she's got a side piece? Mm -hmm. You do know the industry, don't you? You're gonna fill in the class? Yeah. It means she could be meeting someone without going through the store. Normally, a customer pays for the service, and that money gets divided up between the girl and the shop. But if they meet in private, the girl can offer a discount, but still come out on top by cutting the, sh the shop out. Once they start doing that, the girls start to wonder why they need the shop in the first place. Of course, all the shops have strict rules against that kind of thing. Even if it's just an innocent thing at first, once they get a taste of that extra cash, it doesn't stop. They'll event even start using the shop to lure more customers out into their own business. It's a death kneel for some shops. So I want you to find out if she's seen someone on the sign. Sup? Okay, let's say she is. What do we do when we find the guy? Make sure he never wants to go near Naoa again. And I don't care what methods you use. You're a Yakuza, a nurse, and a cop. I'm sure you three can come up with something creative. Hold on. Hey, hold up. Shouldn't you be using the Seryu clan for this kind of thing? Think of them like car insurance. Oof. If you use them the wrong way, they increase your premiums. So, it's cheaper if I can solve problems myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a boss for you. Always has a trick or two. Okay, can you tell us where Naoa San lives, for starters? Actually... It seems she's been couch surfing for a while and hasn't gone home in quite some time. Hey. How the heck do we find her then? If you keep an eye on the pocket pa cafe, she'll show up. She hangs out there a lot. For the price of a cup of coffee, she can stay for a few hours and use the free Wi-Fi and charge her phone. See you later. So, I'll hope for the best. Get her to start coming back in regularly and I'll have suitable payment for you. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm still trying to get the voice thing down. It's always weird for me. Sounds like me. Uh, sounds to me like he hired us as cheap detectives. <laughs> Nanomi is quite a schemer. Uh, he seems sloppy, but he knows his employees both off and on, on and off the clock. If he's doing it on purpose, he's good. <sighs> Doesn't mean he's not a scumbag. This bottom line's all he cares about. No. I don't think so, actually. Huh? Maybe it's not true all the time, but yeah. Most soap plants profit off their workers' misfortunes. You mean like their debt or their family issues? They prey on people like that, right? Basically. Women work hard to get out of that situation, and the shop supports them. I'm not cool with the way N N Namoa talks about people, but he's not shirt-coating anything either. He understands the reality of business. Mm. Well, that's one way of putting it. I grew up surrounded by every kind of sleazebag Kamarocho could throw in those doors. And I bet this guy's actually got a lot of love for his girls. 
I'd take him any day over. Some shithead doesn't care about the girl. Uh, care about the girls get the job in the first place. Ugh. Just because I hate shitheads doesn't mean I have to like sleaze bags. So let's find the proof and get paid. Okay. All right, but we still don't know for sure if she's actually seeing a guy on the side. Let's start with a cafe she supposedly goes to. All right. So far, a weird job. We're looking in to see if a worker is getting a side piece. <laughs> but, hey, can't be picky with your first job. Uh, nope, no safe. Thinking maybe there's a safe, but nope. There's a quest actually up ahead. Mushy mushy. Oh. Ow. And that's why you look up and not run across the road, kids. Uh, I slept like a baby. Hmm? Nonsense moving, comforting low hum. Kicking back in a cold but comfy seat in complete and total darkness. Place is perfect when you need a nap. Yeah, I'll stop by again next time class is canceled. I don't remember anything about the movie though. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Vintage film theater. Guess they only show old movies here. Ooh, yeah. I would love that. We're not an inn, you know. Have a little respect, huh? Ah, this is a classic too. Old Cinema Paradiso. Hey, mister. Interested in watching a movie? We've got some classic titles in-house. Oh, well, well, I also get kind of sleepy when I'm in the dark watching a movie I don't really understand. I don't want to be disrespectful. <laughs> it's quite all right. But just because a film is old doesn't mean it's hard to follow. Old films span a whole range of genres, from sci-fi to romance, Suspenseful thrillers to fun for the whole family. And of course, we have many titles are just as spectacular as the latest and the greatest, guaranteed to keep you on the edge of your seat. Huh. These were long before CG, which means things like real explosions on the set doesn't get much better than that. In fact, I'll say it's downright fresh. So much so that I'm confident you'll feel refreshed by the time the credits roll. All right, I'll bite. You must really love movies. Your eyes light up whenever you talk about them. <laughs> well, I didn't choose to be a curator of vintage films for nothing. I simply want nothing more than for people of today to watch these films and find some joy, even if it's just a little. That's my type It'd of movie theater. It'd be a waste if they were left to be forgotten. Wouldn't you agree? But then, I suppose that's entertainment, an ever-fleeting sparkle. Though it would be fantastic if people saw these films as a brilliant little sparkle in their own lives. I get you. So that's why you opened up the theater. Correct. The Seagull Cinema is a place where anyone of any age can come to appreciate the classics. Though anyone also includes those who fall asleep during the screening. <laughs> Regardless, this is a good opportunity for you to get a taste of the classics for yourself. And since it's your first time, this one's on the house. Really? You sure? Quite. I'd like you to see all the good this place has to offer. Okay, a free movie ain't bad. Maybe I'll give it a shot. You know, let's well, watch it. I'm already here, so I might as well. Excellent. Right this way, please. I would love to go to a vintage movie theater. Oh, there's so many good old movies that I'd love to watch. Today's showing is a monumental piece. Robocook. Half culinary drama, <laughs> half gunslinging action masterpiece. I can watch this over and over again and never get tired of it. Robocook. <laughs> Definitely Wait, not Robocop. You're going to watch too? Of course. As a curator, I'm allowed to watch any film I want at any time I please. All right. I'm thinking this guy built this place just so he can sit around watching his favorite movies all day. Still, I guess that's pretty cool. Well, it's about to start. No sleeping during the screening now. We must show our utmost respect for those who brought these splendid works to life. I dare say that even blinking would be a waste of precious screening time. Yeah, sure. 
Oh, shit. This place is weirdly comfy. Damn. Now I'm sleepy as hell. Oh, that guy was nice enough to let me in here. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> I play some Catherine. わたしには記憶はない。何のために生まれたのか。家族。友も。愛するものもわからない。だが、これだけははっきりとわかる。私は料理のために生きるのだ。Badass cyborg loves to cook. All right, I'll bite. Hopefully, I can stay awake. Shit, movies make me so sleepy. I forgot how to play this. Oh, thank God. Make it to the crowd without falling asleep. Test your reflexes by quickly pressing the displayed inputs to stop those pesky rem rams from putting Kazuga to sleep. You win if Kalsiga doesn't fall asleep by the end of the movie. Which will surely make him feel a bare man. Defeat normal rem rams by pressing displayed input. Okay. Rem rams with a rapid can be defeated by. Okay. Alarm clocks, chickens will heal you, but if you hit them, they'll seek vengeance. Alright. Move up. A yeah, point where they get especially boring. Giving your foes rush mode, golden rems. Okay. Time until the movie's over. Counts the guy's energy. The movie's name. And the current score. Alright, let's try. Oh. Uh, do I. Uh, okay. This is a weird way to watch a movie, I do say. <laughs> I keep those sheep down. Time. Yeah, I gotta sleep more. First stage clear. All right. Whew, made it through. supposed to be an exciting scene but him using that same technique over and over is gonna put me to sleep oh better put my coffee down got feel i'm about to it's sleepy all of a sudden yeah okay i'll sip it after all right don't hit the rooster don't hit the rooster Bound to be a rooster. Don't hit the rooster. I'm gonna hit the rooster probably. But don't do it. Got a nice flow going. Don't hit the rooster. Don't do it. Ignore up. <laughs> That was awesome! Yes, I did it! Oh, I missed it. Oh. Alright. Oh, it 
it's just getting good. He gets stronger by remembering his family. That's actually kind of touching. Movies are rad. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, my Ooh. passion got leveled up. At least I was able to stay awake. That was pretty good, though. Guess it doesn't matter how old it is. A good movie's a good movie. I probably would have got my whole life without watching one of these if it wasn't for this place. This guy really wants everyone to enjoy the classics, huh? There's still a lot I haven't seen, so I should come take a breather when I have time. Thanks for today, Mr. Curate. <laughs> oh, sure. Respect the classics. <laughs> he falls asleep during his own movie. Oh, Robocook, Robocook is such a classic, though. Oh, that always gets me. The ingredient salt. So this is also another mini game you could do. Uh, I think there's multiple movies that you can uh, do that. They do get hard. It's almost like the karaoke. Also, holy cow, loading. You're taking a while. I break the game. I have no idea. I'm gonna wait. Huh. This might be one of those all F4 moments. This is 100% one of those all F4 moments. How odd for it to get stuck here. Wait, no, loading's halfway done. It's increasing. Wow, why is the loading so slow? I kid you not, this game is installed on SSD and I can usually run it quite well. Just, I have a feeling something about that mini game is not making the game happy. I'm definitely doing the mini game in my own time. How interesting, though. That is weird. It shouldn't be that slow. So, this is a bug. Nothing to do with my hardware. Cause I never had this before. Interesting indeed, though. Wait. The save thing, the loading icon went down. It was more than half, and now it's half. Interesting. I might have to reload. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. What in God's name was that low time? I am sorry. Oof. Wanna go back in? Nah. Uh, Alright. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah. I, um... I have no money, so we're just gonna do story quests. I forgot I have to talk to the taxis to unlock them. That's ah, my bad. Eh. You can't remember everything when you go back and play a game. Heck, I play Final Fantasy IX once a year and I still forget to do things. Alright. Let's figure out what's happening. Oh, that's nice. Oof. That one really Damn. Hit me. It's full. Hey, look over there. That's Nanoha. Let's get some answers out of her. I seriously doubt she'd ever admit to it. We should only interrogate her after we have proof. 
I say we trust the former detective on this one. Fine. Sorry, we're full right now. Oh, I'm meeting someone inside. He's sitting down with Nanoha. Maybe she's dating him on the side. Could be. Let's try an eavesdrop on their conversation. How do we do that? Can't hear anything out here. I got this. Kasuga, call me on your phone. Okay. All right. I'm very sorry, but we're full right now. Oh, please, can I just use the bathroom? Oh, seriously, man, I'm about to piss myself. Uh, sure. Go ahead. I hate to say it, that guy probably would see you do it, but ah, eh, whatever. Sorry you had to come all the way out here. Are you alright? You look really tired. Oh, it's my health problems. <laughs> These days. We should get down to it. First of all, the money. He said money. He's gotta be her other man. Hold your horses and see the transaction go down. Somehow I think we have two million yen. Huh? Huh? Three million left to go then. If you'd ten days from now, we could carry out the procedure. But maybe we don't need to Tell me your father deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. After all this time, don't you want that for him? No, please. I don't want Dad to have peace. But does it have to be? That's true, but you shouldn't cheap out. After all. Don't you see the need? That's what you're paying us for. Oh, okay. It's just my father's. Oh? <laughs> First timer, huh? Uh, I guess. Adachi, your phone sucks. Everything. You and your father. Something to do with her father she give him three million yen. And it was two million. Nothing to sneeze at. You think Nanoha-san's wrapped up in something bad? Like what? I don't know. We just have to ask her and find out. Oh, hey! Ow! Uh, uh, sorry. Hey! Old man, apologies don't fix much, you know. Yeah, how are you gonna make this right? He's got a broken bone. Come on, not this shit. Sorry, we're in a hurry. If you don't got time to do the right thing, get out your wallet and hand us a couple grand. Leave us alone, man. See ya. Not so fast! <laughs> These punks don't look like they can beat anything up. Alright. Oh, okay, that punk immediately got more uh, threatening. Check this out! Batter.
it's so good till the end. Okay. Now the better. Come on now. Let's go. Hell yeah! Okay, level up, nice. Forget this! It. Shit! That time to get interrupted. Where's Noah? No, no, not Noah. No, 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 no. Yeah, she's gone. We lost her. What should we do? Head back to Soapland? Even if we did, we wouldn't have anything to report. Go! Hey! Wanna follow him? Yeah. Yeah. Could be our ticket. D uh, Dachi should get his phone back too from the plant. Just saying. Guy's taking his time. The Social Welfare Corporation? Sounds like an old folks home. Pretty classy building, huh? It's from the Meiji era, as I recall. It used to be a bank. But I thought some non-profit foundation bought it decades ago. Sure looks luxurious for a non-profit. I can smell the money from out here. Okay, so we know Nano has been working at the Soapland to pay Thank for you. her dad's care, right? Yeah, so... Maybe this is where he's being taken care of. And also, maybe that man she met at the cafe is employed here. Well, then it would all make sense. She's paying that guy to keep her dad in a nice place. That's hardly shady. I don't care how classy the joint is. Nobody would pay two mil in cash. Plus, why would she pay her dad's rent at a cafe? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a sketchy Remember part. Remember what they said when we eavesdropped? She begged to see her dad, and it didn't move him at all. He just said no. Hostage, maybe? Like holding her dad hostage and she's paying as ransom? Yes, this is the front desk of Sunlight Castle. Uh, is there a man living here with a daughter named Nanoha? Do you mean Nanoha Mukoda? Yes, her father is a resident here. How may I help you? We work with Nanoha at the same place of business. Can we come in? I'm sorry, but only family are allowed to visit. That was predictable. We're not here to see him, actually. The truth is, I'm looking for a home for my own father. Nanoha-san said your facility is great, so I wanted to check it out. I'm terribly sorry. You can't come inside unless accompanied by a current lessee. Really? Yes. If you wish to explore the layouts of our rooms, please visit our homepage online. You can submit questions on that page as well. It's very convenient. Goodbye. Well, they don't even let you tour a room? Something's definitely shady about this place. Yeah, you can only view it online. Huh. And then she has to pay two million, and they won't let her see her father. Hmm. Oh, a side quest popped up. Holy cow, you guys love popping up now. Alright, first let me go to the taxi and activate it. Not real. Yeah, be 
because of that. I, oh, my little girl. I despawned all the others. By the way, this is probably something you all noticed already, but I, honestly, it took me a while to notice before anyone else. Oh, what long while. Kiryu's suit and Yakuza is that nice, crisp white with a red shirt. Ichiban here, gold man Ichi. He has a white shirt with that really just eye popping red. The inverse yeah. of Kiryu. Oh, Ichi's a great guy. Love Ichi. Excuse me. Huh? Would you tell me how to get to the station? Huh? What nonsense you speaking? Would you tell me how to get to the station? Fast times uh, oh, on the harbor. It's English. Oh yeah, the thing I can barely speak despite living in America. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, you know what? Let me. <laughs> Don't worry. What? That didn't do it, huh? Okay, let's see. Looks like someone needs to brush up on their English. Huh? <sighs> Can you tell me how to get to the station? Go straight and turn right. Go, go, go. Go your way, and believe in yourself. Oh, all right. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> Man, he's really Not excited. bad, huh? Guess that English certificate really paid off. Yeah, I guess so. My English sucks ass. <laughs> what can I say? If you can't handle English at that level, how do you expect to survive the effects of globalization? Can you repeat that? I'm saying you need an international mindset. Haven't you ever wanted to work overseas, broaden your horizons? To do that, you need to study. So I started going here. Hmm. Oh, this is a school? Oh, vocational, huh? Yep, been going here a while now. And guess how many certs I've racked up? Fifty. Fifty? For real? That's crazy. I have, like, none. Hmm. You gotta change that, man. Now's the time to build yourself as an individual. If you're the only one without certifiable skills, I'm afraid you'll get left behind. Hey, I know. Why don't you sign up for a free trial? What, for vocational ed? Yeah, for a limited time only, they offer the first lesson free. Might as well give it a shot. I mean, you do want to develop your personality. Don't you? Well, wink, wink, wink that nudge, way. nudge. Sure. The thing that he right. has is personality let's get you traits. Up right away. Uh, okay. Remember correctly, you take a bunch of tests. The hardest one is the Sega one, if you don't play a lot of Sega games. Huh. So this is a vocational school. First time being in one. Yep, it's one of the best in the industry, too. Anyway, the front desk's right over here. Oh, hello, Ikari-san. Uh, hey there, Miyakoshi-san. Pretty nice weather, huh? I mean, not like it affects us indoors, but... <laughs> yeah. Say, who did you bring along? Oh, right. He's a buddy of mine. Said he wanted to do a free trial. And, of course, I was the one who invited him. <laughs> So that's what this is. You just brought me here so you could impress a girl, you sly dog. Oh, wow. Thanks for the referral, Ikari-san. Uh, it was nothing. It's not like I was up all night thinking what favors I could do to impress you or anything. <laughs> oh, the poor guy. So my name's Miyakoshi, and I'm the school receptionist. It's very nice to meet you. Hello, Miyakoshi. I'm Ichiban Kasuga, and the pleasure's all mine. Kasuga-san. Noted. Okay, well, why don't I give you the rundown on how we do things here? Better clean the wax out of those ears. Miyakoshi-san is lending us her precious time, so don't go spacing out. You're not helping. Hmm. 
So what we aim to do is provide certified training for all kinds of job seekers and hobbyists alike. Just so you know, our pass rate is second to none. We are here to help passionate people find their footing. And that's why, here at Onabara, knowledge is yours to own. Whoa, so you guys are number one in the business? That's awesome. We certainly do our best. And while we do want you to pass your exam and get your certificate, there is more to it than that. What we emphasize here is gaining life experience. You know, personality development. Getting a grasp on who you are is the crux of higher learning. After all, what's the point of earning a piece of paper if you can't apply what you've learned? Well said, Miyakoshi-san. Poetry to the ears. Can you just be quiet? <laughs> anyway, I think I got the gist of it. I'm actually more interested in that personality development part, if anything. Excellent. Then I'll put you down for a trial lesson. Let me know whenever you're ready, and we'll go ahead and start your lesson. Okay. You got it. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see how bad I flunk this. It's free, but I'm still gonna save. Kasuga-san, are you ready to start your trial lesson? Yes. Yeah, let's do this. Perfect. Right this way. This facility is all about developing one's personality. Passing ex exams will improve different fa facade, facades, facades of Kasuga's personality. After the free trial exam, you'll have to pay the exam. Which fee. exam would you like to take? Oh no, not sports. Oh no, I suck at sports. This one? You have to get three of the Just five make correct. Sure you have a pencil. All right, everyone, I suck at sports. Get ready. And bowling, what are ten object? Oh. <sighs> Soccer is a team sport. In which competing team? With the exception of goalie, touching balls a foul. Uh, I think it's handling. <sighs> Marathon is a track and field event that requires running a distance of. Well, it's called a marathon. We'll do that. A triathlon is completed by a consumer overcoming 30 different. Which of the fall is not part of a triathlon? I'm gonna say. Uh, swimming? <sighs> Skiing is a sport or which gear slides down slowly. Components of. Oh, they're called the. Wait. Oh, the poles. <sighs> Oh, okay. Did I pass or fail? I hate sports. I passed. I did it. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Ready? You're the man! You're the man! You're the man! I wish that would happen whenever I passed one of my tests. Yeah! Level 2 Passion and Charisma. Okay, I got that one correct, so this pins. It is handling. It is the marathon. Oh, it's swimming. Oh, cross country. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I didn't do bad. We got four of the five right. <laughs> the problem is, is you have to spend money here to take tests. What is with the loading times? I might have to restart the game. Oh no, this music's gonna drive me nuts. Okay, I'm gonna do a restart. Uh, I could just do it technically now, redo the test. No, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. One second. I'm gonna have to restart the game. I'll just retake the test. It'll take two seconds. The game's not behaving. And I, I don't know why the loads are like that. It's not normal. I'm glad I saved at the front desk. Alright. Well, I guess we can put swimming in there. Yeah. Hi, Sega.
Real Yakuza. Use a gamepad. I'm using my good old Ace and Neo. Alright, let's uh do this again. Load time should be more reasonable. Maybe I had the game on too. Oh yeah, that load time is there. Alright, let's try it again. Am I capturing? I am capturing, okay. Let's go. Kasugasa. Yeah. Let's... Perfect. Which exam would you this one? Make sure you have a Oh no, the questions are gonna be different. Basketball's team sport. The amount of points earns. What is the. Uh, I <sighs> Soccer's team sport. Uh, handling. <sighs> What's the name of the track of field which athlete puts him. Oh, the shot put. Triathlon is completed. Oh, it's a uh, cross country. Skiing is a sport bowl. I forget each time you do a test, the questions are different, so you can't just keep spamming. I passed. Oh, oh yeah, I can. Uh, oh, I can't skip this. I love that. Just three grand guys and your buddy just show up out of nowhere and start. Oh, I got that wrong. So it is three. Okay, I was going with that originally. All right, low time. Are you better? Oh, way better. That should just about wrap it up. Thanks for trying us out. Whew. Not bad for your first time, but long and treacherous is the road to mastery. Just ask this guy. This guy never shuts up, does he? What did you think of your lesson, Kasuga-san? I can say with confidence, I've never studied so much in my life. But hey, it was fun. It was kind of nice being in a classroom again, too. I think I got a lot out of that. I'm so glad to hear that. Each program here is dedicated to helping you become the person you've always wanted to be. That said, would you be interested in full enrollment? It's free to enroll, of course. You only have to pay per class. Basically, it's a certificate fee. So what have you got to lose? Besides, you can trust me, Akoshi-san. I know I do. Okay, you made your point. But I am curious which aspects of myself could use some fine-tuning. Might as well find out, right? That's a good attitude to have. Sky's the limit, you know? Yep. Kasuga is now enrolled. Oh, additional cert certification exams are now available. Any past exams can be taken as a mock exam for free. As many Please times as you Please let me like. know when you've found a course that interests you. Sure. Once I figure out where to start. Gotta say, there's a lot to choose from. Any advice for a newbie? Hmm. I suppose some guidance would be in order. <laughs> then allow me, master of 50 plus certificates, to be your faithful guide. You? Oh, looks like we found ourselves the perfect volunteer. You sure you want to handle this, Ikari-san? By all means. If it puts a smile on your face, then leave old Shrubhead to me. Shrubhead? on the ropes? You really have no filter, do you? Well, by this point, Ikari-san has the most insight out of all the students here. Though he can be a bit of a handful. You could say that again. But hey, I'm determined. You hear that? I'm counting on you, senpai. <laughs> then I shall illumine your path. How about that, Mikoshi-san? I'm smart, and I look after my fellow man. Uh, if you say so... Anyway, Kasuga-san, welcome to the start of your future. Yay! I can take classes. Oh. Vocational school specializes in improving personality by passing exams and obtaining licenses. Kasuga can significantly improve his personality parameters. You will be required to pay an exam fee for each license exam. Right. Can I help you? We have new certifications available. Let's see, what are some nice cheap ones? Ooh, Sega. 30, 30, 50, free. And... 
Yeah, I don't Come have the money for ready. any of these. Hey guys, let's leave. I will be back one day. Pretty sure there's a taxi around here somewhere. Oh well, I'll run. side quest popped up. What? Ow. If I were to get hit right now, or if I jumped, I would die probably immediately. Alright, let's go. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna actually go here. Decided to get himself hit by a car. He's almost dead. Alright, now we'll run down. Uh, looks like, oh, we have one here. And then we have one here. Take one. Huh? Oh. oh, I tripped the pound town. It's time. Hey, what you got there? Who knows? An ad for a sex shop or something. <laughs> Nothing a couple of penniless mooks like us need to worry about. Oh, hold the phone. It says the first person to call gets free service. <laughs> what? That sounds way too good to be true. They'll find some way to squeeze money out of you. I guarantee. Yeah, well, uh, we won't know until we call. Take it from the guy born out of soap land. It's a scam. Hey, now, things might have changed while you were locked up. Give it here. Yo, hold on! First person to call. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Hello, how can I help you? Yeah, hi. Uh, saw your ad. Said something about the first caller being free. Oh, yes! Thank you! You are the very first, so this one is indeed on us. <laughs> all right! And, uh, you're, you're sure it won't cost anything? Nope, nothing at all. Now may I please have your name and current location? Oh, right. It's uh, Koichi Adachi, and right now I'm kind of near Ohama Street. Oh, and that place can be quite dangerous, too. Understood. I'll send over our most popular employee right away. Ooh, your most popular? <laughs> oh, you guys really go all out for this first free caller thing, huh? We want you to know how great we are. <laughs> now then, we have them en route to your location. Huh? Well, you're sending someone to me? Like, not a hotel or something? Wait, is this one of those meet-up deals? How'd it go? <laughs> Get this. They're sending their most popular girl over here. For free. Whoa, really? No, really, I swear. Look, sex shops will do anything to stay competitive. They said she'd be here soon. Sorry for the wait. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! It's the man! <laughs> Gary Buster Holmes. Oh, what the? Who the heck are you? <laughs> are you, uh, Adachi-sama? 
yeah, that's me. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. I'm Gary Buster Holmes from Poundmates. Poundmates? Is, is that a sex shop? <laughs> no, no. Poundmates sends people to help you fight. Help us fight? Hey, you shitheads are making way too much noise. That's it. I'm gonna shut you guys up. Oh, a handy group of punks. Just in time for your first call. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but let's go, Kasuga. Yeah. <laughs> let's do it. So, this game has a summoning yeah. system called Poundmates. Poundmates are powerful allies with a riot wide range of abilities, but call them is a co it costs money. The price depends on the pound mate, although your first call for each pound mate is free. So, Don't get Gary caught. Buster Holmes. Get serious. Time to call a friend! I summon you! You want sudden death or sudden death? Service with a pounding. Gary Buster Homecoming. Thanks for calling Poundmates. Yay! That's how you do it. Nice. Nice. Shit! They're too strong. Now, for the finish. Sudden death or suds on breasts? What's it gonna be? <laughs> We're sorry! Your free trial is over. Next time will cost money. Looking forward to it. Yeah, sure. Okay then. Goodbye. hell just happened here? <laughs> Fuck if I know. Man, why's it gotta be so hard to get laid? Houndmates, huh? Well, it ain't free, and I'm not sure it's sexy, but I think I can see the appeal. I see some summons on there. Oh yeah, there's Gary Buster Holmes on the back. You now have access to Poundmates. Yep, Gary Buster Holmes. A reoccurring character. Oh. Need help pounding your enemies? You can call Poundmates for a fee from your smartphone. Ex via etc. From the battle menu. The roster will grow as you progress through the main story or clear sub stories. Each Poundmate has a powerful ability at premium cost and are ranked by increasing order of brown, silver, and gold, with each tier being more powerful and more costly than the former. Some of them will have certain conditions and restrictions, like not being able to help at, at night, player strategy, according to blah, 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 blah. But yeah, pound mates are summons, and it's hilarious. I, I love the way they show what pound mates are. This is hilarious. Oh. This. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Hand it over already. I remember this. What's going on? I'm saying hand over the baby formula. You looking to lose some teeth? No, please. My baby's waiting for me. Like I give a shit. Just buy the little snot more. We need that formula right now. This, this is absurd. Why would the Yakuza need baby formula? They're shaking the guy down for baby formula. Baby, don't cry. I don't know what the hell's going on here, but it looks like he might need some help. That's all right. Guess I'll give him a hand. Hey, not sure what the deal is over here? That formula's his, right? Huh? Who the hell are you? You his buddy or something? Nah, never met the guy. Just passing through. Someone's always gotta poke their nose into this shit. 
Okay, fine. We'll take it by force. This is a man's just baby okay. formula. Watch this. Alright. Let's see how quick not. this is. Close. Fuck! Assholes. We won't forget this. <laughs> Oh, that's over. Yo. Hey, you okay? Hi. Thank you. You're very kind. You think you'd ever... <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Don't go crying on me. Sorry for bringing down like that. It's been a while since someone's been so kind to me. So it really hits home. Nah, don't sweat it. I'm Kazuga. Arigatou gozaimasu. Masada Oshima. Thank you for saving me. Ah. Uh. I wasn't about to leave you hanging. I'd like to give you a little something as thanks, but all I have is this baby formula. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Baby formula? That for your kid? Eh. Yeah. I'm a newly minted father of a son. He's a cute little guy too. But there's all sorts of things you need to have uh, need when you have a kid, and I figure I should start saving up for the future. So I've been working my butt off day and night. Yeah. Well, I'm single, so I don't know much about that, all that. But don't overwork yourself. Won't do much good if you're dead. Car, you say so, Kazuka son. My wife would never say something like that. Your wife? Mm. Yeah. She's been pretty cold to me lately. I'll come home after from a long shift and she won't even say hi. She used to be so sweet to me. She even did all the cooking and cleaning and what have you. But lately, she's been having me do all the do the housework. I'll tell her I'm really tired from work. All I get is, you have no idea how hard it is to raise a child. She's always blowing a fuse. <sighs> uh, I don't understand. But we should be in sync when it comes to our kid, right? I just want my son to be happy. Sounds like he could use some advice. Listen, have a heart to heart with your wife, man. Hey. It's important to work hard, but your wife... But has your wife ever said she wanted you to do that? Mm -hmm. Huh? No, I guess I never asked. Still, you gotta have money, right? Yeah, of course. I imagine having a baby's pretty tough. I mean, his whole future is in your hands, and he can't even understand what you're saying yet. Sure, work can be tough, but I'll bet there's some kind of emotional struggle going on, too. Emotional struggle? Yeah. Being a parent's a huge responsibility. Shouldering that responsibility by yourself is probably a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you want someone who will listen. To Safe to say your wife wants that from you. Just like how you came to me for advice about uh, yourself. You're really something, Kazuga-san. For a single guy, you sure know a lot about parenting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I never had parents. I was born in a... Uh, Massage parlor, so I was raised by the staff there. As I got older, I learned about all I learned about all the people who took care of me. You know, changed my diapers or whatever. Maybe it's thanks to them. Is that right? You've been b born in a massage parlor. I guess people can come from just about anywhere. Mm. <sighs> the idea of facing my wife, though, just the thoughts alone scares me. Wah! Wah! Eh? You hear that? Could it be? It's coming from in there. You think it's just like you, Kazuga-san? There's no way. Mm. Birthing a child in a place without the proper care is dangerous. We should step in and help. Mm. Sure, but what the hell are we gonna do beside get in the way? Good point. Uh. I know. Let's make this baby formula and bring it to them. We don't know if the baby can drink their mother's milk yet. That means we're gonna need some hot water. Oh, and once the water cools off a bit, we might be able to help wash the baby. Think you can handle the water, Kazuka-san? As for me, I think there were some towels left at my work, so I'll go grab those. Where am I supposed to get hot water? Sorry. Let's be back up here. I'm leaving it to you, Kazuka-san. 
Huh? Hey. I feel like I just got the short end of the stick here. Okay. Hot water. All right. Good try, cafe. Yeah, by the sounds of it. Uh, nope. 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 Cafe. Oh, pocket cafe. By sounds of it, he's been overworking himself, and his wife's been taking care of the baby. And, of course, I am not a father. I honestly don't know if I'll ever have kids, but I know parenting is very stressful, and he is working overtime to financially support his child, but what she wants is support with the child. But, oh, musicians. Yes. Check this out. Ooh. Okay, that was an easy battle. And goodbye. Good I feel the stats going up. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Gotta raise that attack. Alright, ma'am, I need hot water stat. I need hot water for the baby. Maybe I can ask for some. Sup? Hey, there's been a childbirth nearby and they need some hot water. Think I could trouble you for some? Yeah. That's quite serious. I'll prep some right away. Wait just a moment. Sure, thanks. You got hot water. All right, got the hot water. Better get back to Oshima. Street over. I got the water. We're going to save the child. Kazuka san. Oh, Kazuka san. I'm ready on my end. Did you get the hot water? Yeah. Yeah, I got it right here. Hot water and towels. Perfect. Let's go. All right, time for things to get weird. Hey, are you all right? Is there anything we can do to... Huh? Oh, Susumu-chan, you're so needy. Okay, time for Baba. <laughs> what the... <laughs> uh... <laughs> You're the fuckers with the baby formula. That's the dude who threatened Oshima. What the hell's going on? Oh. Uh. Uh oh. Sorry to bother you, boys. Uh, yo, let's go. Uh, yes, goodbye. Not so fast, chief. You got balls stepping into my big comfy crib. Think you can waltz in here and spoil our fun? I've seen things I wish I'd never seen. Come on, boys. Let's pacify this bitch. Sir! <laughs> I can't take that seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Not a loser. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just Don't get it now. Fun with this. Oh, that's beautiful. Get serious. Check this out. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, I did get him. Not bad. 
apologies for barging in here, but this this is all just a huge misunderstanding. Huh? I'm listening. Well, actually. <clears throat> I get it. You thought my crying was from a real baby. Yes, we're really sorry for ruining your uh, fun. No, no, I wasn't aware. I'm the one who's sorry. Huh? These days, a crying baby's more likely to get scowls than anything else. To think you'd do that for a baby you don't even know. <laughs> what are your names? Ichiban Kasuga. Uh, Masato Oshima. I see. Fine names, both of you. My name's Susumu Gondawara. Seems my men troubled you for some baby formula. Boys, get these two some new baby formula on the double. I yes, sir. This dude's the patriarch? I was thinking I saw everything the Yakuza oh, world had to offer. Well, we're actually quite all right on the baby formula. Please, no no need to trouble yourselves. I step out of the house for a quick errand, and I'm gone for an eternity. My wife's gonna kill me. Ah, oh, come on. You'll just be a little late. <laughs> Your old lady that scary? Mm, no, she's just been a little strained lately. I've been working my butt off for the sake of our child, but all she does is nag at me. Masato-chan, do you understand how hard it is to raise a kid? Have you ever bothered to help your wife, even just a little? What? Like, just holding a baby's a lot of work. You have to support their neck until they can keep their head up on their own. Lots to look out for, no matter how small the task. Babies are weak, delicate creatures, very fragile. You can't blame your wife for being a little stressed out. Huh. That's right. Saya-chan's telling the truth. When us babies get our milk, we gotta burp, so we need a little back pad. <laughs> There's all sorts of shit like that. Now that you mention it, she is always doing those things. When they start crying in the middle of the night, I have no clue why, nor do I know how to stop it. Hey, it's our job to cry. Doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night, we'll cry when we feel like it. <laughs> I see. And here I was, jealous of how she got to sleep while I was out working all night. Your wife probably hasn't had a decent night's sleep since the little one came into the picture, you know? And even if she does get a sec to rest, you never know when she's gonna have to get back up. Sounds pretty freaking exhausting. Oh. Masato-chan, you should sit down and talk with your wife. I'm sure it's hard for both of you, but your relationship's probably strained right now because neither of you have taken the time to hear each other out. You're right. I guess at some point I started to think I was the one having the tougher time. But I never thought about how my wife was feeling. I'm gonna talk to my wife when I get home. I'll make sure we raise our kid right. I'm a father, after all. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Just don't try to do everything yourself. Family's got to support one another. Go on. Hurry back to your wife and make things right. You got this baby's approval, so I'm sure you'll do just fine. Thank you. Well, I'll be going now. Man, weird place to get advice. <laughs> well, all's well that ends well, I guess. You bet. Uh, boss, sorry we're late. We bought the formula. Ooh. Well then, why don't we drink to the man who became a proper father? Join us, why don't you? <laughs> huh? Me? That's right. No need to be shy. Uh, yeah, why not? Sure. What the hell? Yeah, baby. Ah, that's God's work right there. What do you think? Good shit, ain't it? Yeah, ain't half bad. <laughs> right, right. 
Boys, two more baby bottles. Room temp. Uh, yes, sir. Now, what say we enjoy this second bottle good and proper? Huh? Boys, get this man a diaper. Uh-oh. Yes, sir. Yo, hold up. I didn't say <laughs> shit about wearing a- Hey! What the yeah. hell, man? Let me go! Yo, if you don't cut it out, I'll- Oh. Oh, well, my passion's gone up. <laughs> yay. Oh, yay, sweet. It's a pound, mate. Oh, man. That is the weirdest place to get parental advice. There's some random lady taking care of the patriarch, acting like a giant baby. Weird places where you get weird advice. Also, uh, you might be laughing at him being a pound mate, but he's actually one of the best pound mates in the game. Because he debuffs hard on enemies. He will debuff an enemy. All right, let's go back to serious story. They charge five million yen just to start a lease? And then it's 500k every month? Even on Soapland wages, how the hell can she afford that? And take a look at this. They've got a program called the Excellent Course. Entry fee 20 million? Then a million a month? What in the actual fuck? Yeah, I hope that's one good VIP room. Don't tell me her dad's enrolled in the excellent course. I can't imagine he is. Oh, <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is the only family she has. He's the reason she got a job at a big corporation. And he's the reason she works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. It doesn't surprise me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, I knew she put him somewhere expensive, but this is just crazy. No matter how much you love someone, you've got to set some boundaries. I'm starting to think this was never about a guy she was dating. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. I worry about all my employees. But once they clock out, I can't help them. And I hate that. Especially the girls who have such troubled pasts. You never know if they're doing okay or not. That's why I'm strict about how much time they take off. I worry. So you have a good reason to keep them working so much. And here I thought you were just a huge asshole. <laughs> I guess you can stop your investigation now. She might be putting herself in danger. But if she's doing it for her dad, I really have no right to interfere. It's her life. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. From work? Oh, I think it's something else. Definitely not work. Yeah, that is the big cause, probably. Like I said, it sounds like extortion. Nanoha is her father's guarantor. I'm sure of that. It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. And you guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home? Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. Maybe she still owes them money. And until she pays, they won't let her see her dad. That's fucked up. Yeah, but it might be true. Nationwide, more than one out of every five people is elderly. And there are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. Even if an establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. I think I know what happened. They accepted her dad, told her she could pay the entry fee in installments. And then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. They just want their money as soon as possible. 
That's just... so cruel. Plenty of bastards in the world who do it without a second thought. No wonder her health is bad. Who could deal with that kind of pressure? <sighs> and by taking time off, she'll lose income. She'll end up being late on her payments. Damn. At that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. And there's another thing that could happen that's even worse. What's that? Depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they could kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. That sounds to me like they can do whatever they damn well please. Even to the residents who are paid up. I don't understand how they get away with this shit. Please! None of us needs to understand it. All that matters is saving Nanoha's dad. Boss, we can't save him. There's no way. Sure, we all want to, but... I mean, they won't even let the guy's own daughter in. The place is pretty much on lockdown. I just don't see a way around that. I think I see a way around it. What? Boss, you okay with us working a second job? Uh, huh? The three of us could work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to infiltrate the place by getting jobs there? How do we get them to hire us? Well, we're sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. Yes! It's a great idea. I'll call Kanbe and make it happen. I think we can do this! We can save Nanoha's father! We're getting more jobs. Man, we are really coming up on this place. So I love how when we first meet this guy, he's yelling on the phone, acting like a jerk, and they make us hate him. Then... Then they actually tell you why he's like that, and this and that, and I'm like, man, he's actually a decent guy. Hit it for the long haul. All right, they all go to Hello Work, talk to them, and maybe call it. There are so many people in this game that seem like jerks, and yet they end up being pretty decent people. And he's one of them. Like at first, you're like, oh, I hate his guts, and this and that. Even uh, Kazuga's like, no, it's just business, and he, he's part of it, and on top of that, it may look like he doesn't care, but trust me, uh, below the surface, he does. Kazuga's been there before, he knows. Alright, let's get uh, more jobs. We'll take all the jobs. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you want to work there. I just... I can't just invent jobs. Especially not Sunlight Castle. That's a fancy retirement home with best-in-class staff. They won't even post openings through Hello Work. So... you're saying you can't get jobs there. Sorry, but no. Damn. Well, I can't get you directly in by Sunlight Castle, but there might be a way as contractors. Hmm? Contractors. Cool. Their full-time staff doesn't do a lot of the manual jobs. The caretakers are employees, but they go through a temp agency for the test. The rest. It's an agency exclusivity. Caretakers. Wow. So if you get on that list, I'll be able to get into. Oh, so if I get on the list, I'll be able to get in Sunlight Castle. Not even contractors are going to get in if they have uh, if they all have all zero experience. That rules out Kazuga Kun, of course, Adachi Thon too, unless you're hiding caretaker work. 
Man, don't get my hopes up like that. But Namus, you potential. Huh? Uh, me? Why him? Nambasan, your resume says you're an ex-nurse. That's the kind of experience they look for. You could get in the Sunlight Castle pretty easily. <laughs> <laughs> nice. adachi son used to be with the police. Then how about this? Hey, you got an idea? If you could leverage your police experience, a security guard post might be a shoe in I can introduce you to the company that runs Sunlight Castle Security. Yeah. Yeah, security's right up my alley. I got this. Wait a sec. I'm the only one left in the cold. There's gotta be an agency for agency mm. for me too. Kazuka san. You're an ex Yakuza, so hmm, Yakuza retirement homes, well Huh. Oh what about this? Man, all these old people are extremely jittery. Are we sure they're hey, okay? Sunny. Don't recall seeing you around. Are you new? Yeah, I'm from a temp agency. Name's Nanba. <sighs> How nice to have a new doctor. Wonderful. Actually, I'm a nursing assistant. And just temporarily. You say you do physical therapy? <laughs> Sounds fun. Ooh. Um, listen, Granny. Let me ask you. Well, there's a guy living here named Bukoda. You know him by any chance? He's pretty old, has a daughter. Oh, what time are we having breakfast? Uh, well, it's already past noon. Oh, here is fine. Thank you, officer. Oh, yeah, she has dementia. Hey, did you find anything out? Nope. <laughs> I haven't seen any guys who were likely to be Nanoha's dad. I gotta say, the care in this place actually seems pretty damn good. There's plenty of staff. Their medical equipment is top-notch. Uh, they've got a security system and guards, too. They ain't skimping on safety. How many times do I have to tell you? I want these toilets so clean you'd let your mother drink out of them. Put some elbow grease into it, for goodness sake. Stop slacking off. <laughs> Why am I the only one on toilet duty? <laughs> Why do you think? Well, you're not qualified to do anything else. Did you find her dad? Nah, not even a lead. You find anything? The only thing I've seen all morning is toilets. That woman's a slave driver. Maybe her dad's in a special room for the excellent course residents. Oh yeah, that crazy expensive program. Doubtful. I found out more about that program. It has super strict requirements. I don't think she would have met them. For example, you have to do a bunch of interviews to qualify. Interviews? Yeah, I don't know exactly what they ask, but I bet it's all about your family and social standing. Rumor has it, the program only lets in big shots from the financial sector. So, even if she had the money, I don't think she would pass the interviews. Still, none of us have seen this special room yet, right? No, because how are we supposed to do that? Well, obviously, they're gonna have their best security on the excellent course residents. I heard only full-time staff are allowed to work with that clientele. But where the hell are those residents kept? Top floor, and to get up there, you need one of the full-timers' keycards. Hey! Quit chatting and get back to work! Yes, ma'am, right away! Oof, yeah, Ichi got the worst of it. Good work. Bet you didn't know toilet cleaning could take up a whole day, did you? So many toilets. That's what you need in a place this big. You're gonna have to pick up the pace tomorrow. We still need to do the top floor, don't we? That floor is for excellent course residents. It's, uh, off-limits to us contractors. Oh, d 
damn it. I, I think I forgot something in the bathroom. Mind if I go get it? Fine, but get it together. You're a mess. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say, ma'am. I will do that, ma'am. I'm so sorry. Uh, you can go on ahead and I'll catch up, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, just hurry up. Well, it's a fancy hallway. not normal. Okay. Oh, Kazuga, you're late. Putting some extra polish on those bathrooms. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Wait, where's Nanba? Still working, I guess. Wasn't expecting you guys to take this job so seriously. That said, we gotta find some info or proof pretty soon. Yeah, I saw something weird at the excellent room, though. <gasps> huh? You got up there? What was weird? Hey, guys. I'm so tired I could just die right here. Well, Kazuko was just saying he caught... He caught on to something suspicious. Can you pull off dying for a few minutes? Hold on. I can't. I know I'm being a baby, but I can, can we just save it till tomorrow? I'm tired as fuck and they want me to come in early tomorrow. The old woman... This old woman just passed away, so I have to do all this what crazy stuff. What? What is it? Was that... The woman with purple hair? Yeah, how do you know? It's crazy to even think this, but it has to be. That woman was killed in the excellent room. What? The excellent room? Sure. I didn't see it happen, but that has to be it. Why would they kill their own customers? A death just means no more income, doesn't it? No. No, not necessarily. You could scam their pension payments, for instance. Hmm? Pension. Yeah. So when all dies, we can report their death and just keep on going with your life. You hide the body somewhere, and the dead person's pension and medical insurance payments keep rolling in. You're saying the institution could be stealing money. Can they do that? Yo. Look at this. I checked it out. There's a safe at the back of the security room that has all the residents' bank books and seals in it. For the residents, I'm sure it's peace of mind to know that they're kept under lock and key. Mm. But if they had their stuff on hand, it's super easy to get at all that money. And if someone dies, frees up the room for the next sucker. Every time a patient dies, they increase profits. What? What the hell? I recognize those two. These guys are from the security company. How do you know them? They're both Yakuza from the family that runs this place. Yakuza? Huh? Then that means they're Siryu clan. Yep. They're from the Ryudo family. One of the families serving the Siryu clan. I remember them because they used to come by and harass my girls all the time. But about four years ago, they got their hands into another business. 
and another family took over my place. I've heard of Yakuza running, uh, running a security company as a front before, but I've never heard of them actually being on site themselves. Mm. Wait, what if Sunlight Castle itself is a serial clan's business? In that case, it would make perfect sense for them to be scamming pensions. Hey. Okay. Say they are doing this whole pension scheme. Wouldn't that mean Naoa's, Naoa's dad is long dead? <sighs> no. No, Naoa's dad's still alive. How do you know? Remember what Naoa <sighs> said when she gave the guy two million yen? You mean when they were when we were eavesdropping on the phone? Yeah. Room? Yeah. The guy took the money and said something along the lines of, Three million left to go then. If you just remit that amount, ten days from now, we can start to carry out the procedure. Using that together, it means there are three million yen left, and that she has ten days before they carry out the procedure, or whatever. Oh. Wait, that would mean if she doesn't pay three million, ten days, they'll execute her father? For real? Yeah, they're probably saying she doesn't want him to die. Then she needs to pay up. I see. So her dad's a hostage. But she's got to be able to take this to the cops. You think? The place is a Yakuza front. They probably already got terms with the police. It's pay up or he dies. Even if he dies, the police are just going to look the other way. And then they'll bleed his pension payments dry. It's un- Damn. Hold on. Hey, hold on. How many days ago did you hear this conversation? Oh shit. Ten. Adachi's. Adachi's. Uh, sounds hunch is right. He's gonna be killed tomorrow. Three mil. No way. You know, I could scrape together in a state time she's. Ah. I would lend to her if I could, but that's not the kind of money I just have lying around. And if you did pay, these are Yakuza. They could double cross you in the heart. Well, it's down the wire then. We have to save him no matter what it takes. Uh -huh. Her dad's probably in the excellent room. Let's do it. I'm sorry you got dragged into something much bigger than I hire you for, but all the same, please. You're the ones who can help. I beg you. <laughs> cool, boss. But when everyone's safe, I'll be ex expecting a full house bonus. Sure. Uh, uh, okay, you got it. What's a full house bonus? Is it big? It's an old soul plan custom. If they fill the house, everyone gets a bonus. If everyone gets a bonus, everyone from the ladies and staff go home happy. How big is it usually? Well, the going rate was about 3,000 yen. What? 3,000? We gotta risk our, risk our lives for 3,000? I'll have the stuff ready for when you get back, so you better come back alive. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I want to save. Oh. Oh, no. I'm tired, guys. Oh, no. Tomorrow's gonna be a mess. Let's just get some rest. Hey. Hey. You want to make a quick side trip on the way? <sighs> Where? A place I used to frequent in the bar district. You could drink and sing karaoke there. If tomorrow's gonna be messy, why not throw one back and get re ready the proper way? Who's buying, though? <laughs> I told you, I go there a lot. I'm sure I could just get out of my tab. Come on, just one drink. <sighs> All right, fine, but don't get wasted on us. I know, I know. Let's head to the karaoke bar, dodgy frequents in the bar district. Ah, good, I can't say. Ooh, that was... I was like, guys, I'm getting tired. We sleep. Okay. So yeah, the plot thickens. Are they holding him ransom? Probably. Eh, it's a Yakuza front. But we'll see. Next episode, we'll infiltrate it. But yeah. So yeah, next episode, we're infiltrating a retirement home and probably a few other things. But hey, I have some pound mates if I absolutely need it and 29,000 yen. But until then, I'm gonna go off.
probably brush my teeth and then sleep. So I will see you later and goodbye and good night. See ya.